Greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Um, I got a question a few days ago from a guy calling himself Just Me and he asked have you done a player start upon death tutorial and I have not but I have looked into it now so I'll show you how to quickly just create you know a way to restart or respawn the player when he dies or when you die so I'm just gonna open create a new project I'm sticking with the first person template because then we know we have the same fun fundament fundamental whatever um, respawn I will call this project and I will start by creating two different levels because then we can skip between them and see that make sure the player responds to the correct level because you don't want the player to respond to the previous level when you have moved on so the first thing to do is to go to file and take save as and then create the first level I'm just gonna call that respawn level 1 and I'm gonna place it in the maps folder I'm gonna copy that name respawn level 1 save so this is the first level and then I'm gonna take save as once more and just change the name to respawn level 2 and I'm gonna make level 2 be a little bit different so we know for sure that we are indeed switching between the two so I'm gonna place this big cube right in front of the player like that and save okay so let's go back to the first level respawn level 1 Now the first thing you want to do is find the character blueprint, first person character. And in here you will take find right click and write event destroyed. Drag this out and just take open level like that. Now we will create a new variable and make it make the variable type be name and you can call this whatever you want I'm gonna call this the given level and then I will take it from here and drag it into the event graph and I will get it and connect it to level name okay so compile save now that's all we need to do for the first person character blueprints and you know this is one simple way of doing this there is more complex ways where you create uh, a specific actor uh, or blueprint class with the ability to you know respawn to the current level you're on but I don't know how to do that yet I might learn that later on and then create a tutorial on it but right now this is what I know so I'm showing you that um, okay so in the level blueprints for the given level open it 
and take event begin play. Now drag this out and get first person. No, no, no. <laughs> Cast two first person character. Then drag the object node out and take get player character. Then drag this as first person character out and search for set and find the level you created. I named it the given the given level. Here it is. And connect this. And this is where you will write the name of the level you want the character to be spawned into. So you can write whatever level name you want, as long as you actually created the level and it will be spawned there. And this is called Respawn Level 1. So that's the name I will pick. Respawn Level 1. Compile and then inside the level I will create a simple trigger box trigger make it bigger so this will you know symbolize the thing that kills the player I'll make sure it's not hidden in the game so I can see it because just because like that and with it selected go back into the level blueprint right click add event collision add on actor begin overlap drag this out and search for destroy actor and then the target of that will be the get player character. So we can probably just connect it to the other one. Like this. Compile. Save. And now you can play. Go in here, die, and it respawns in the level. So you know, now you can set this anywhere you want in the level and whenever the player is, you know, you can hook up anything that will kill the player to this. Um, so let's say you could use a kill Z volume. Uh, where are you at? Here you go. Let's drag this kill Z in here. And I will place it in front of this wall because I can't, as far as I know, make it visible. So with it selected, go back into the blueprints, level blueprints, and just collision, add on uh, overlap. Then you could either connect it to destroy actor or straight to this cast a first person character. It doesn't matter. So I'll just do it like that. Now, so the kill Z volume is what you use, usually use when the player is falling off a cliff or whatever. Boom, and it respawns. Now, this is all you need really, but if you have multiple levels and you want the character to respawn to the correct level, then you will need to set it up specifically for that level. So. If you're done, you can just quit this video now, it doesn't matter, but if you want to continue and see exactly how I do it, then uh, pay attention. So, I will go into Respawn Level 2, because in the first person character blueprint event graph, this is the same, you know, so this will be the same for both of them. 
that's why you need to set it up uh, independently in the level blueprints because the level blueprint is specifically uh, connected to that specific level that's why it's called the level blueprint the blueprint okay uh, so first I will create a new box trigger again symbolizing the thing killing the player or actually being the thing that kills the player like that make it visible in the game now with it selected back into the blueprint right click add event trigger on actor begin overlap drag it out destroy actor and then make sure it's the right actor so gets player character so now if I don't do anything else than this watch what happens well I'm not actually sure but I think what will happen is that you will actually spawn to the first level that would seem logical so I go here boom and I'm back in the first level, you know. So that's why you need to create this from scratch in the new level. So events begin play, then cast to first person character. I will use this one, put it in there, and then drag out this blue node and set the given level was my variable connect this and then write this level name respawn this is level 2 okay So, now, let's see. Now it respawns the correct level that you're on. So if I go back to the first level, just to make sure everything is set up correctly, then when I die in this level, I respawn to this level. So, that's one way to do it, one easy way. And yeah, let me know what you think and have a great day. Peace out.